Have you ever wanted to write but didn't know where to start? That's the question our character finds themselves asking. Intrigued by the art of storytelling, driven by a desire to weave words into worlds, yet unsure of the first step on this uncharted path. Like many, they are drawn to the allure of creative writing, captivated by its power to transform the ordinary to extraordinary, the mundane to the magical. But what is creative writing really? It's more than just putting pen to paper. It's an exploration, a journey into the depths of imagination. It's the ability to paint vivid pictures with words, to breathe life into characters, to craft compelling narratives that tug at the heartstrings. Our character is brimming with curiosity and excitement. They are eager to learn, to grow, to unleash their creativity. They are ready to take the plunge, to delve into the world of creative writing, to unravel its mysteries, to master its techniques. And like any journey, it's filled with anticipation, with apprehension, with a sense of adventure. This journey is not just about learning the craft. It's about evolving as a storyteller, as a wordsmith, as a creator. It's about finding one's voice, about discovering one's style, about developing one's perspective. It's about embracing challenges, about overcoming obstacles, about celebrating triumphs. And so our character is standing on the precipice of a new journey, a new adventure. They are about to embark on a quest to uncover the secrets of creative writing, to navigate its complexities, to embrace its challenges, to revel in its joys. Our character is about to embark on a journey into the world of creative writing. Are you ready to join? You might be wondering, what exactly is creative writing? Well, let's break it down. Creative writing at its core is any form of writing that goes beyond the bounds of normal, professional, journalistic, academic, or technical forms of literature. It's about crafting narratives that captivate, entertain, and inspire. But creative writing isn't just about making things up. It's about weaving together threads of reality and imagination to create a tapestry of human experience. Whether it's a novel, a poem, a screenplay, or even a song lyric, Creative writing shines a light on the extraordinary within the ordinary, the profound within the mundane. The purpose of creative writing is to express, express thoughts, feelings, emotions, perspectives. It's about painting a picture with words, making readers see what you see, feel what you feel. So creative writing is all about expressing thoughts, feelings, and emotions rather than just presenting the facts. Now, how does one get started with creative writing? a question that fuels the minds of budding writers. The answer lies in the unique and inventive techniques that breathe life into your words, turning them into captivating stories. Let's delve into the realm of these techniques, starting with free writing. Imagine a stream flowing freely, unhindered by any barriers. That's what free writing is all about. It's a non-stop writing spree for a set duration, be it five, 10, or 15 minutes. The goal is to let your thoughts flow uninhibited by the constraints of grammar, punctuation, or coherence. This technique is a treasure trove for idea generation, allowing you to tap into the deepest corners of your imagination. Next up, brainstorming. Picture a storm, but in your mind, a whirlwind of ideas that come crashing down onto your paper. It's all about quantity over quality at this stage. Jot down every idea that comes to mind no matter how absurd or incredible it may seem. From this pool of ideas, you can fish out the ones that resonate with your story the most. Lastly, let's explore mind mapping. Think of a tree with branches spreading out in all directions. The trunk is your main idea and each branch represents a related subtopic or idea. The beauty of mind mapping is that it provides a visual structure for your thoughts, helping you to see how your ideas connect and interact with each other. These techniques may seem daunting at first, but remember, every great writer was once a beginner. It's all about letting your thoughts flow, embracing the chaos, and finding the gems in the rough. As you practice these techniques, you'll find yourself generating ideas you never thought you had, and slowly, you'll see your story come to life. As our character discovers, these techniques can serve as stepping stones into the world of creative writing. So grab your pen and paper or open that blank document on your computer and let your journey into the world of creative writing begin. A story is nothing without its characters and plot, right? 
Now let's delve into the art of building characters and crafting a captivating plot. These two elements are the backbone of creative writing, the heart and soul of your story. They are the magic that transports your readers into the world you've created. Imagine your characters as real people. They have their own histories, quirks, desires, and fears. They're not just words on a page, but living, breathing entities with their own stories to tell. They should captivate your reader, evoke empathy, and spark interest. How do we achieve this? It's all about depth. Give your characters a past, a present, and a future. Let them have flaws, strengths, and weaknesses. Show their growth and transformation throughout the story. Make them relatable, and your readers will follow them to the ends of the earth. Moving on to plot, it's the sequence of events that make up your story. It's the journey your characters embark on. It's the conflict they face, the choices they make, and the consequences they bear. A good plot is like a roller coaster ride. It has its ups and downs, twists and turns, moments of thrill and suspense, and a satisfying conclusion. It keeps your readers on the edge of their seats, eager to turn the page and find out what happens next. But remember, a plot is more than just a series of events. It's a reflection of your characters' journeys, their struggles and triumphs. It's their decisions that drive the plot forward. So how do you create an engaging plot? Start with a basic structure, set up the situation, introduce a problem, then let your characters take action, add in some conflict, throw in a twist or two, and build up to a climax. Then bring it all to a resolution, tying up loose ends and leaving your readers satisfied. All this might sound daunting, but don't worry. With practice and patience, you'll find your own unique voice in character development and plot construction. Remember, your characters and plot are the heart and soul of your story. What makes a story come alive? Dialogues and descriptions. Imagine watching a movie with no sound and no background details. It wouldn't be as immersive, would it? The same applies to writing. Dialogues and descriptions are the lifeblood of your story the elements that make your characters and settings feel real and relatable. Writing dialogues can be tricky. It's about striking a balance between sounding natural and driving the plot forward. Here's a tip. Try to keep your dialogues concise and purposeful. Avoid unnecessary fluff. Every line should either reveal something about the character or move the story forward. It's also important to vary your character's voices. Think about their backgrounds, their ages, their personalities. A teenager wouldn't speak the same way as a 70-year-old professor, would they? So give each character a distinctive voice that reflects who they are. Now, let's turn to descriptions. Descriptions are your reader's window into your story's world. They make your settings vivid and your characters tangible. But remember, less is often more. You don't need to describe every single detail. Instead, focus on the ones that will create the most vivid image in your reader's mind or convey a particular mood or emotion. Here's another tip. Appeal to all the senses, not just sight. What does a location smell like? What sounds are in the background? How does an object feel to the touch? These sensory details can make your descriptions much more immersive. And finally, show, don't tell. Instead of telling your readers that a character is nervous, show it. Maybe they're fidgeting or their voice is shaking. This way, you're not just telling your readers what's happening, you're making them experience it. Just like our character, you too can bring your story to life with compelling dialogues and descriptions. Ever felt stuck while writing? You're not alone. This is a common phenomenon known as writer's block. It's that frustrating moment when you just can't seem to put your thoughts into words or perhaps you've run out of ideas altogether. But don't worry, writer's block is not a dead end, it's just a detour. And there are ways to navigate around it. Firstly, it's essential to understand that writer's block is often a result of pressure. This could be the pressure to be perfect, the pressure to meet a deadline, or even the pressure to make every sentence a masterpiece. To overcome this, try to shift your focus from the end product to the process. Remember, the first draft is not about perfection it's about creation. Secondly, try changing your environment. Sometimes a new perspective can stimulate fresh ideas. This could mean writing in a different location or simply changing the setup of your usual writing space. Another effective strategy is to set small, achievable writing goals. 
Instead of aiming to write a whole chapter, aim to write a single paragraph or even a sentence. Breaking down the task can make it feel less daunting and more manageable. However, the most crucial aspect of overcoming writer's block is regular practice. Writing is like any other skill. The more you do it, the better you become at it. Make it a habit to write every day, even if it's just a few sentences. This regular practice not only improves your writing skills, but it also helps to keep the creative juices flowing. Remember, every writer experiences moments of stagnation. It's a natural part of the creative process. The key is not to let it discourage you. Instead, use it as an opportunity to reassess your approach, to experiment with new ideas and to grow as a writer. As our character learns, overcoming writer's block and consistent practice are key to becoming a successful writer. So where does our character's journey lead them? After a series of trials and tribulations, our character has come a long way. They've taken the plunge into the world of creative writing, explored techniques, built characters, and crafted plots. They have faced writer's block and overcame it with resilience. They have found inspiration in the mundane and they've learned the importance of regular practice. Now it's time for the real test. Our character sits down to pen their own story, using every tool they've picked up along the way. They start with a blank page, much like how they began this journey, but this time they're more equipped, more confident. They start sketching out their characters, giving them depth and emotions, making them as real as possible. They build a world around these characters, a world that's a reflection of their imagination. They weave dialogues into the narrative, making the characters speak, laugh, cry, and argue. They describe the settings in vivid detail, painting pictures with words. They create conflicts and resolve them, taking the readers on an emotional roller coaster ride. And as they write, they realize that the journey they've embarked on has not just taught them how to write, but also how to observe, to empathize, to express, and to imagine. They've learned to see the world through different lenses, to find stories in the most unlikely places, and to craft them into something beautiful. The satisfaction of having created something from nothing, the sense of achievement that comes from seeing their thoughts and ideas take shape on paper, is beyond words. They know that this is just the beginning, the first of many stories they're going to tell. They have found their voice, their style, their rhythm, and that's how our character's journey into creative writing ends, not with an ending, but a new beginning. Because the end of one story is just the start of another, and our character is ready to write the next chapter.